Today, I'll go over how to limit the number of rows or columns in LibreOffice Calc. In your sheet, instead of having millions of rows or thousands of columns, we can limit it like what I'm showing here, where I only have the column going to H and nothing after that. And for the rows, I have 19, but nothing after that. And if I use the scroll bar to navigate, the sheet won't move anywhere. So I'll demonstrate the fastest way to do this through hiding rows and columns and also how to show them again later on in case you wanted to. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I share quick tips and make video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So this topic was actually from a viewer's question by Janice Russell 9591 who says, Hi, can you tell me how to remove infinite columns using LibreCalc spreadsheet on a MacBook? So I'll do just that. And let's go to my second spreadsheet. Here I have a normal sheet with full columns and rows. I'll start by hiding columns. So I'll keep column H then what I'll do is left click on column I. This will select the whole column. And then now I'll use a keyboard shortcut, control, shift, and right arrow. So now we can see down in the status bar, it says selected 16 million or so rows and 16,000 or so columns. Now I can right click on any column name in my selection and simply choose hide columns. And that's it. So now the selection is on cell H1. And if I scroll to the left, now my sheet looks pretty good. And I don't have any columns after H. Now for rows, it's a similar method. I'll just select the row where I want to hide. And then to choose everything after it, I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, Down Arrow. Now Calc has selected all the rows for me. Even though visually here the last two doesn't look selected, I could check in the status bar again that it selected over 16 million rows. And you may have less rows, which is fine, as long as you can tell that it went to the end. And then we'll right click on a row number and choose hide rows. Now my selection is on cell A17. And I scroll up. So now my sheet has limited columns and rows. Now to unhide, usually we would just click on the column name and right click and there's a show columns option. When I left click on that, nothing actually happens. And that's because normally the way to show columns or rows is to select at least two adjacent columns and then we can right click and choose show columns. But in my case, I don't have anything between columns G and H, obviously. So to select column H and everything after that, we'll click and drag over to the right. Now it doesn't look like I selected anything more than column H, but we can verify down the status bar that it actually says I've selected over 16,000 columns. So this is what I want. And I'll right click on the column name and then choose show columns. There we go. Now, if I use a keyboard shortcut to go to the end of the columns, which is control right arrow, I'm taking here all the way to column XFD. And to unhide the rows, it's a similar process. I'll left click on the column number, but drag down and then make sure that in the status bar, it shows I've selected a ton of rows. Now I'll right click on the row but here, the gotcha is I didn't click the row number. And so I'm not seeing the show rows option. If I right click the row number towards the left, now I have the show rows option. So just make sure you click the row number on the left and not just a cell within the row. Okay, now go to the last row by using the keyboard shortcut control down arrow. And we see my 16 millionth plus row is displayed. And now I'll go back to the very beginning by pressing control up and left arrow. My selection is now back in cell A1. And I made another video about how to freeze the top row or column in your spreadsheet. So take a look at that video next if you're interested. 
Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.